position. The detectors button, this will tell you the status of the machine, what your signals are. Green is go, off is, is not good. So emergency, green, we're in a good state to run. Security bars, green, we're in a good state to run. If by chance you press start and your machine would not start and it was a security bar, that light would be off. Uh, pressure switch, this is for your air. Print head down. We can't start the machine with the print heads in the down printing position. They must be in the up position. They are in the up position at this point. If they were down, that would be green. Forward brake, backward brake. This is your brake for the carousel, for the indexing. Position, are we locked into position? Yes, we are. Departure detector, star release detector, and arrival detector all have to do with the rotation on a U model machine. We use a Geneva gear, so we have three sensors. We have a departure, a uh, release, and an, act, and an arrival detector. Arrival is when the positioning mechanism arrives into the uh, lock position. Star release is when nothing is, is noticed and you're in a uh, free state. And departure is when it is ready to advance to the next one. Start, stop, these are your physical buttons. As you can see, stop activates the button. Foot pedal, same thing with your foot pedal, which in effect is a start stop button. Release star, when it's in the, when your carousel is in the free state, release star will be on. Descend print heads, when your lifting tower is in the down position. Uh, turn back, if you have an inverter alarm, all your inverters with the exception of the rotation inverter are located on the back of your print arm. There's also a red light on each print arm. If you have an inverter alarm, walk around the machine. More than likely, it's one of your print arms. Uh, passwords, this is indicating that your machine is locked and you require a password. Uh, drying, that will be on if a flash is activated. And index, this index, as you see, is a counter. It's not like the counter on your main screen. You cannot reset this to zero. This is the total number of cycles on your machine. In this case, this machine only has 429,000 cycles. Pretty new machine. There's actually uh, uh, four other things in your detector's uh, menu, and that, are, that is log. If you remember, log is where we also reset the maintenance. But log also tells you when maintenance was done. So it'll tell you the date, the time, how many indexes were on the machine. When it's time to do maintenance on your machine, a dialog box will come up on your screen indicating that maintenance is required. At this point, you can hit OK, and you can also continue to use your machine. However, your maintenance icon, the, the little icon with the uh, wrench, that will continue to be on your screen until maintenance is performed and you've reset the maintenance. Once you've performed maintenance, to reset your maintenance alarm, Simply go to Utilities, Detectors, Log, and Reset. At this point, a user dialog comes up. You'll, re you'll be required to use a username and a password. You want to use main Maintenance, and you'll want to use the password 1357864. Uh, Two, hit OK. It says that uh, login is success. Hit OK again. Now when you hit reset the second time, the reset button disappears and so does your maintenance notification icon. Your uh, username and password is located inside your manual in the maintenance section. Times, this gives you uh, set times that the machine is operating in. So rise time, foot pedal, these really do not affect operation. These are just informational numbers. Um, sometimes if you call in for service, te a technician may ask to, for you to check one of these numbers. So unlock is a good example. It's taking 0.14 seconds for the brake to unlock. If you were having a braking issue, the technician may ask you, what's your unlock time at? This is a measured time. This is your turn time for indexing, lock time, descend print heads, etc. Again, these times have no, func no uh, user changeable function to the machine. They're simply for reference. 
Uh, print head signals. This will tell you what every print head situation is. We have forward and backward. Rock refers to backward as operator position and forward as machine position. I like to refer to it as operator machine position because different people in the industry say forward and back and they mean opposite things. If you say operator, machine, you can never get confused. But again, as far as this uh, signals page, back means operator. So right now, the print carriage is in the backward position. It is towards the operator. If by chance you had two lights on, that will actually create an error. That means your sensors are too close, which we will review in a little while. We come back to machine signals and the last option is the exit.